know these three things about cargo ships. Number one is the reason that cargo ships don't just fall over. And this is because engineers calculate what is known as the metacentric height. This is the difference between the metacenter of the ship and the center of gravity. As long as the center of gravity is low enough in the ship, it has a sort of self-correcting action. So whenever it gets hit from side to side, it will most likely stay afloat. Center of gravity too high, and you can imagine what happens there. Number two is that cargo ships can actually go a lot faster than they usually go. And the reason that they don't always go full speed ahead is because of fuel efficiency. So much so that the fuel efficiency is directly proportional to the velocity of the ship cubed. That means the faster you go, you exponentially use more fuel. For example, if you take a ship down from 24 knots to about 18 knots, that are about a 25% reduction in speed, you could expect to save between 40 to 60% on fuel costs. Number three is that these ships have massive engines. And I don't just mean massive, I mean huge. The size of apartment building engines. These things output so much torque, it's actually ridiculous. A normal mid to large tier cargo ship can produce 100,000 horsepower and about 8 million newton meters of torque. That's enough torque to spin a Boeing 737 MAX at 100 RPM with relative ease. And that's why I 